What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Smug Tire Podcast. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Beeline Coffee. The new Roasted Tire 3.0 is now in stores just in time for the holidays. 1.0 had my old Fox body on it. 2.0 had the Safari 911, talking about on the bag. And Roasted Tire 3.0's got the Countach on it. That's how you know you're getting the 3.0. It is delicious. Literally the best coffee I've ever tasted in my life. It's a medium roast. It's a medium body. It's got a lot of caffeine in it, so it's great for the morning, but tons and tons of flavor. As always, good coffee comes in whole beans. Get yourself a grinder. Get some Beeline Coffee. Use code TST for 15% off anything in the Beeline Coffee store, whether you're talking about one pound, uh, ten pounds, or a coffee of the month plan, which you can get at Beeline Coffee. Just hit up BeelineCoffee.com, use code TST, get yourself 15% off from your friends at The Smoking Tire. We are also brought to you by our new store at Blipshift. We have an exclusive merch collaboration with Blipshift going on from now on. We're going to have new shirts every single month for you guys. And if you've ever ordered a shirt from Blipshift, you know how it goes. The sales last for two weeks, and then they are gone forever. So from now until December 23rd, we've got the uh, Safari 911 Dashing Through the show Snow shirt. It features my Safari 911 several feet in the air over a beautiful snow-covered forest. It's just delightful. You can get it in all different styles and sizes at blipshift.com slash TST or go to thesmokingtire.com and click on the store tab. That will take you straight there. And that's from now until December 23rd. And then that sale ends and we have new shirts after that. This is how it's going to go with our shirts. We're going to keep them going all the time. People email me all the time. They go, I missed the super chat. You guys don't do a Patreon, but how do I, you know, donate to the show? Buy a shirt. If you don't like the design, buy a shirt for your friend. That's how we do it here at The Smoking Tire. Blipshift.com slash TST or TheSmokingTire.com and then click on the store tab. All right, on this episode of the podcast, uh, in California and across the uh, country here, the U.S., runway racing is more popular than ever. And on this show, we've got uh, the founder of one of the biggest runway racing companies out there, Want to Go Fast. Mr. Blake Hutchison is on the show. We're talking about standing mile and half mile events, what it takes to get these cars to hit those numbers, what makes these events so popular, and more. Blake Hutchison on the Smoking Tire Podcast. Is it part of the core? I don't know, but uh, this is the Smoking Tire Podcast. We live, son. Woo. What's happening? Cheers. Blake, Blake Hutchison, founder of Want to Go Fast in Studio, and Joe. Joe what? Just Joe. Just Joe? Oh, man, he's going to do some shady shit on fucking camera. He don't want to be known. <laughs> you can fucking, if you guys are into runway events, hit these fools up on Instagram. Underscore want to go fast. Underscore. Yeah, our name was taken. So it was we had fucking. To who's it taken by? Should I don't I, know. Should I look up who the real want to I mean, go fast is? It's a Ricky Bobby name, so someone probably had it. It is. A, oh, that's <laughs> probably true. It probably is. A, that's what happens yeah. when you do a Ricky Bobby reference. Well, <laughs> cheers. Welcome. Thank mm. you. It's rainy Thursday. Shit, that's good. That is. Good. It's really good. It's strong though. I don't know. Yo, seriously. So yesterday, this appeared. This is a bottle of Booker's. Uh, barrel proof, 129 proof, age six years, four months, four days. It just arrived at the studio in a box. Uh, had to be signed for by an adult. But no card, no anything. I have no idea who sent it or why or what it came from, but it's here and it's fucking delicious. So for those of you at home, this is the shit right here. Here's the label. Where's the... Right there is the label you want going on. It says it's fucking special. Welcome to the to the West Side, boys. Yeah, yeah. Where's home for you guys? Uh, Florida. Florida. Destin, right. Florida. Lower Alabama, Florida. Right. So, Destin, Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So isn't that like uh, they have like that that waterfront kind of thing happening there, right? Waterfront. I mean, isn't there like a, pretty much everything's on the water in Destin? Yeah. Yeah, but oh, what's that fucking? There's like a big gathering place. Gathering. Place. No, I, I don't know. We went. Th- it was actually a stop on Bull Run like seven years ago. So. Where we live is about 30 minutes from where the Truman Show was filmed in the 90s. Oh, really? Seaside, yeah. Yeah. The Truman Show is uh, a fucking great flick, man. 
It is. It is. Is that is that a real town though they use? It's real. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. Is that fucking weird walking around there? It's like a fake reality, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything's perfect. Yeah, we have those too. It's called Orange County. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although now it's now it's blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue. So, what brings you here, Radwood? Radwood, L.A. Yeah, we it's, wanna, it's gonna be fucking sweet, dude. Super pumped about it. I'm um, I'm super excited. I even have the fucking my shit's on the flyer. Yeah, I shared that on Instagram and Thank Facebook you. yesterday. There's a lot of pressure when they use your car on the flyer, yeah, especially you- when it's an Italian car from the 80s. Because <laughs> if the fucker acts up, you now have to call people who like shouldn't be rushed. You don't ever want to have to call me like, can you hurry up and finish my Countach? <laughs> like, that's not a phone call that typically uh, one makes. No, no, it's not. And I've learned that... Uh, it's hard to rush these these guys. They're the guys at GTO Engineering. They're very smart. They're very me- methodical and thorough. Mm-hmm. But when you're like, "Listen, I need this fucker done on Friday," they're like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "It's got to be at Radwood." And they're like, "What's a Radwood?" <laughs> if you said it has to race in Monterey yeah. Historics, they might understand. I actually drove a downdraft version of that. A Countach. Mm-hmm. What would you think? It was amazing. It's the best, right? Oh yeah. A lot of people say they don't drive good, and they are full of shit. No, it drove great. Um, so you try to rev match it. Well, did you find that difficult? <laughs> oh, you just can't hurry the shifting. That's all. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you have to. You have to. It's a. It's a. It's a deliberate shift. Yeah. That's because it's gated mm-hmm. and it's dog leg, and but but I find um, I drive mine barefoot. I don't have a choice in the matter. Right. Um, yeah, you don't. It's not a quick r- downshift, but if you. Uh, when you when you figure out the timing, it's not so bad actually. And having big bread low feet like I have, and doing it barefoot helps. Wow, I have so many beverages to choose from. <laughs> I'm looking down at the at the fucking yeah. table, and it's like but it was, uh, water, bourbon, coffee. What do I want? <laughs> I should pour the bourbon <laughs> into the coffee. Yeah, you should. Fucking Irish coffee, this bitch yeah. right up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Boom. Bourbon uh, in coffee. That thing was Problem super comfortable, solved. and the visibility out of the front was actually extremely good. Yeah, so. when you want to when you want to make a pass, what you do is floor the throttle for two seconds, and then your blind spot is clear. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. The first the, the first day I had it, I almost like merged into a Camry uh, because I couldn't see it in my blind spot. Yeah, uh, the, which and the blind spot is enormous. I mean. There's a there's a big radiator scoop there. Uh-huh. You, you just can't see shit at the back. But. Is yours like a pretty stiff accelerator pedal on yours? Um, yeah, yeah. Long, but long travel? Like yeah, a, long travel. Yeah, yeah. I was at high throttle, and then I punched it. I was like, whoa. You go, yeah, there's a lot more throttle here. There's a lot more power. The weirdest yeah. throttle pedal I've ever driven is um, the Lotus Esprit Turbo V8, the end of the Lotus Esprit. Yeah, my dad almost bought one of yeah, those. It yeah, had, that, that car had a strangely had a firmer throttle pedal than brake pedal, yeah. which made heel towing fucking wonky as hell. Um, That's kind of a interesting car. The Esprit uh, Turbo? Yeah. It's, it's a weird car. It looks cool, but it doesn't drive as good as it looks. No, it yeah. does not. The steering is terrible, which yeah. for a Lotus is pretty unacceptable. And the uh, Targa roof, like, constantly has wind noise with the one eye. Targa I've, roof? Or the glass, like, sunroof. Oh, it has a glass sunroof. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think, I think that might have been an afterthought, that sunroof. Yeah, it's not very good. It Actually, has, the earlier Esprits with manual steering, when uh-huh. they added power steering at the end right. is when it turned to shit because it's that 90s super over boosted power steering. Yeah. Um, I like the early 90s ones, like the Pretty Woman car was. Oh, yeah, like, that's the yeah. like the S4 and the yeah, Turbo. That's and, cool. Like, the end, yeah. see, I, Good I looking thought, car, though. No, I thought these, the, the end runs with the mm-hmm. big fucking wing and yeah. the center exhaust, like they looked super cool. Yeah. They just drove kind of weird. Those are actually Corolla taillights, I think. I would not be the least bit surprised. Yeah. Do you remember the movie uh, If Looks Could Kill? I've never seen that. Oh, dude, Richard Grieco. Um, <laughs> Pretty close to Richard Gere. <laughs> almost like Richard Gere, but look, dude. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. The original, original soundtrack oh, on that, Amazon. That guy looks really familiar. Yeah, I've Richard Grieco? Him. Yeah, dude. Do you remember... Mm-hmm. That, here he is. Oh, He's yeah. a, like a high school student goes on a on a, a trip to France and he gets mistaken identity for a spy, but <laughs> decides to just roll with it. Just go with it, bro. And they issue him this uh, Lotus Esprit, and uh, they tell him to go basically murder a bunch of people. Wow. Yeah, it looks. It's actually as far as shit eighties movies go. It's pretty. I want to see what did it get on IMDb, because I need to know. What or, or what on the uh, Rotten Tomatoes? I bet it's terrible. Um, <laughs> but you're gonna watch it. 
you know. I mean, dude, I yeah. really strongly recommend seeing, looking, you, watching if looks good. Do you go. remember that Charlie oh, Sheen movie? The, the, pay, the page won't even fucking load. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't even, it won't even come up. Remember that Charlie Sheen movie where he was like a Porsche mechanic and it was like an 80s setting, oh, I think. Oh, shit. And yeah. Was, yeah. Do you remember? What was that, Joe? Do you know? Joe, if you want to talk on a microphone, get close you to better the get closer to the microphone. Yeah. We've talked about it before, but I cannot yeah, remember the I name can't of the movie. I can't remember the name of it. Hang on. I think it was the, a bunch of 930s and G. No Man's Land, yeah. 1987. I can't sweet. play the trailer because, uh, you know, you, you, you can't have hot YouTube <laughs> on YouTube action. Yeah. But here's a... Oh, no, I can't play that. But here's a, here's an image of a 930 Turbo going really yeah, fast through a garage. one of my favorite cars. Yep. So. And here's, a, here's what appears to be a 930 yeah. Turbo chase. <laughs> Uh, yeah, or with, with a fucking... Is that a Mark V, I think, yeah, maybe? pretty amazing. It's either a Continental or possibly a Mark V. Um, sure, we'll see one at Radwood, and then we'll know for sure. Dude, those big bodies. There was one at Radwood Atlanta. That yeah, that was... A huge body Continental. Like a blue or green interior? Yeah. Yeah. And those things are um, slammed on bags. Mm-hmm. Was it, it's a Mark V? Yes. Yep. Dude, when they are slammed on bags... They look well. I have, my problem is my my image settings are they need to be large. Yeah, see, this is this is what we're talking about, dude. This fucking thing <laughs> is about seventy four <laughs> feet long. You know, you have the Landau roof. You can oh, fit yeah. three or four hooers in a trunk, <laughs> but you have to see one on bags because oh, when it's slammed, chrome. huh? Chrome one. Is that all chrome? <laughs> yeah. No, that's and, just black. Oh, it's just oh, black and photographed well. Chrome down the side. No. But like when there's... Oh, see, look. This one is slammed <laughs> on Dayton's. Yes. Which is really funny because the wheels are tiny. I like when they're slammed on like Detroit Steels. Uh-huh. Um, like the Detroit Steel wheels, like where the fuck are these? The Mob Steels. Where it's a full like that's steel clean. dish. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, cool. that, that's like... Yeah, there that's it is. Dope. They call yeah, this one Heartbreaker. Yeah, with a full steel dish with a dog yeah. dish in there. That shit is hot. That's almost like the Back to the Future three wheel on the DeLorean. It really is yeah. close. <laughs> I bet you that shit would run like, what, 74, 75 and a half mile maybe? Oh, maybe 76. Maybe 76. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we talk about runway racing? Do you want to talk about sure, runway racing? Yeah, we is can talk about runway racing. Is that technically racing? why you came here? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How so? When when did you guys start your runway so racing business? We was started I, the first year. Was I there? You were in, there in fourteen. Yeah, we started in eleven. Actually, oh we wow, you've we had this shit a while. We were the first of the Mohicans in the half mile world. What? Um, um, were you really? Yeah. Oh, for I guess there was there was the Texas Mile before that. But, yeah, but. You were the first in the half mile? First really? in the half there mile. There was no other half mile around. At really? All. Yeah. I got to give yeah. you some more volume, Joe. All right. And get that mic. You kind of have to like eat that mic. I'm sorry. It's, it's oh, not it's okay. as like, er, it's the key. It's so, they can, it's so the people can Pretend see Pretend it's face. a donut joke. He's Pretend like, it's a <laughs> penis and put it in your mouth. Um, oh, my favorite. The uh, half mile is good because you can go side by side. You can't do yeah. side by side full mile, right? Has they do in, allow that They yet? do in Moscow. Oh, in Moscow. The unlimb. But isn't that a divided mile? No, it's not. It's super narrow. Too. Oh, it's, it's just it's just because Russia. It's it just looks super. Yeah, sketchy. I think I heard that uh, the mafia runs that. I mean, they so. what don't they run? Yeah, what, over there. What so. doesn't they run? Um, so side by side half mile starting in twenty eleven. Yeah. Um, I like half mile. I think it's a good length. It's enough length where you feel like you're actually in it, in the car for oh, a minute, yeah. but then you can still do side by side racing. Yeah, I didn't really pick it on purpose. It just kind of we found a runway and that was the <laughs> only length we could do. I just called a runway one day and I was like, "Hey, uh, me and a few buddies want to come, you know, race at your runway." And and I had just stumbled on it because I was doing real estate at the time and uh, we were looking at a piece of property to list. And we just walked across this runway and it was abandoned, basically. Um, and the rest is kind of history. And they they said we had to do an event. That was the only way we could do it. So we did an event and. That's just kind of what as happened. opposed to as opposed to a few friends just racing on it. Oh, I, yeah, I really yeah. just wanted to race. Well, what defines? <laughs> I mean, I, not to be uh, yeah. too pedantic about right. it, but what defines it as an event? Like open to the public? We had to open it to the public and and get you know some exposure to the airport and oh, to the town right, and right. you know bring some tourism in. Um, the problem is they're always in the middle of fucking nowhere, aren't they? This no one definitely sp- was. Yeah. <laughs> we've gotten we've gotten better about the middle of nowhere part. Um, but yeah, the first one was definitely in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, oh man, this this Booker's is very high grade for an Irish coffee. <laughs> really tasting the Booker's. Um, so in the in, since 2011, yeah. like what was like the fastest number you saw in 2011? One seventy five. 
That's not very fast. No. To, by today's standards. Twin Turbo Terminator. Oh, three really? Mustang. Uh-huh. That's funny. That's actually, for one of those, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's it a, a good run. It had a parachute. It was um, it's pretty crazy. I mean, at the time, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. And uh, it actually beat a Switzer GTR to 174. They went, like, back and forth. And, Switzer uh, knows what the fuck they're doing. We did not have a speed trap. We actually had cops shooting a radar gun. Seriously? For real. Wow, that's pretty hood. And the cop didn't even know how to use the radar gun, so then the what? guy that oversees yeah, the airport real. started shooting it, and he actually knew how to do it. Who's uh, and, uh, What highway did he patrol? <laughs> no. Yeah. He was just like the town guy, you know. It's a small town. He was the guy. So, and now this year, 2018, what are the numbers that we're seeing? Um, 259. <laughs> what ran that? Uh, underground Huracan, yeah. 3,000 horsepower, 3,500 horsepower. 3,000 horsepower. Yeah. Jesus, these people are fucking nuts. It's pretty <laughs> insane. What do you have to do to a car to run 259? Uh, a lot. A lot. Uh, you know, take a Huracan and, and turn it into straight up race car it's it still has tags you can still drive it on the street um, they call it a street car but yeah. i mean 259 like you that could mile. but sure. um, does it does it drive slowly like could you can you drive it slowly he drive yeah it taxi it they drive yeah. go slow just fine it's got a dog box in it oh um, really well, that's got when it shifts fun. even like the last gear when it's almost at the finish it you can feel it in your chest if you're at the start line <laughs> now they do have the dct going pretty fast now too. yeah but now they the, what's the fastest dc 243 oh, that's 242 really, that's 242. real fast for a dct it's car. eventually going to beat the dog box car that was on stock block as well really yeah. Yeah. oh wow. yeah it shot that's some pretty awesome that's flames. impressive yeah <laughs> it's fucking dude those lambo v10s hold some power but the gtr's right there 255 so they kind of you know the the Huracan's a little bit faster, but the GTR is right there. But they're running parachutes at those speeds, right? Uh, the GTRs do. Yeah. The Huracans don't. Usually they don't run. Those guys really? start pretty quick. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. They're long runways, but um, wow. They like to keep the streetcar look, I guess. We always recommend that they use them, but the, see, that's the funny uh, thing about your about runway racing is there's a lot of recommendations and very few rules. Yeah, it's uh, you know, we're, we provide venues and. <laughs> and that's what we're in the business of doing. So we recommend the moon, but that's it's hilarious. up to them to uh, to make it safe. So that's that's how it has to be with with the grassroots style. So you that we're don't. Doing. So you don't really give a shit if people put cages in their cars and stuff. We care, but we um, to inspect a car on the spot, a hundred, two hundred cars that fast. Yeah, is just physically impossible, and to make sure it's good work. Uh huh. Um, so it's like a road course. It's a self tech, and then you know. We have basic requirements, and then after that, it's it's up to them to make sure it's safe. So, it's uh, but we recommend everything, <laughs> you know. Um, but it's just liability wise, there's no way we could I could put someone's, you know, an inspector. I couldn't put his name on the line on that. So yeah, it's just too uh, it's too much risk there. Well, they do on road courses, don't they? No, it's self tech now for a lot of it's either the shop signs it or uh you know the individual signs it so really? like like for chin that's how they do it so huh and we use we use chin's form so we I have guess a license it's agreement different. with it it is different for racing yeah for actual racing nhra and stuff is completely different you know they have all kinds of i mean they're a bazillion dollar corporation yeah and uh we're just a couple guys that wanted to go racing so I mean, not that I'm like trying to like grill yeah. you on it. Yeah, I'm no, just no, like, no. Yeah. When someone's going 250 in a car that had an original top speed of you know 190 or right. something, or or in some cases even lower. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty big like difference. It's a big difference, and those cars have full fire suppression, and you know they got a cage and everything like that. Yeah, um, so they're extremely safe. But it's uh, we just you know personally for us to take on the liability of that would be a lot to ask. I so. guess you. I guess if you're going to inspect the car, you then have to be responsible for what Correct. you inspected, right? Correct. So that's that's up to the shop. Even in or, Florida, <laughs> in Florida, yeah. can't you just sign a paperwork and then it, it just no, goes yeah. away? Like yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. So that's fucking um, cool. All but, right. You know, Whatever. We provide runways. <laughs> That's what we do. That is it's, funny. it's safer than being on the street. And we have EMS and fire and everything else. I guess that in so. Florida that is the alternative. Yeah. Every time I go to fucking Texas, all these dudes do is oh, roll crazy. race on the highways. I oh, mean they true, don't even man. they're not even like they're not even D L about it. No, they post the, where they're going to be. Yeah. And the uh, thousand horsepower Corvettes was like yeah. stock brakes, slicks yeah. and skinnies. I mean, DX2K, like, yeah. it's on, you know? Yeah, it's, dude. it's on. So. Have you been to that event? No. 
I never have either. I, I mean, I know Peter through the internet, but uh, the guy that puts it on, but I've never been. But it looks like an amazing event. They're doing two, two a year now, so... Do you guys have day jobs anymore? Is this full time for you guys? Full time. Yeah. See, that's yeah. what that's the dream. How many events a year are you doing? Uh, we did five this year. Last year we did eight. Um, but the FAA has kind of started to crack down a little bit on on runway on stuff. The, the so use of runways. We've had to get a little creative on uh, venues. What does the FAA say? We need the uh, runway. They are the police of the sky. They like planes. They like planes. <laughs> So basically, most airports, 99% of airports take uh, grants to, uh-huh. you know, because airports don't make money. They, they lose millions of dollars a year. Right. Well, doesn't so, the aviation industry lose millions of dollars a year? Absolutely, yeah. Billions of it's dollars a year? It's just a year? traffic driver to cities and promotes, you know, people coming to different places and right. city income. But so basically, they do loans or grants, and then once they grant you millions of dollars, then you are under their rules. Mm-hmm. Um, and once you're under their rules, then you have to ask for approval for any kind of automotive, anything. And, and their basic answer is no, we're not doing that. Um, you know, but there's a few places that will try it out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but it's, it's a pretty much a 99% no. <laughs> How many runways do you have to ask before you find someone who says yes? Hundreds. Really? Yeah, yeah, hundreds? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Literally That's, hundreds. That sucks. Yeah. So a lot of people are like, hey, come to my town. Come to mine. It doesn't work that way. You know? Oh, that's so, super annoying. Fuck, come know? to my town. And then if, if yeah, we lose would, a... You and the four people yeah. that live there. If we lose a venue, then everyone... We get like hundreds of emails saying, hey, check in this airport. And we've already, we've already checked them all out. I mean, we have a full database. So um, it's just not that easy. Mm. But it, part of it's good because it doesn't saturate. And then part of it's bad because it's hard to find venues. Yeah. Um, so that's just the way it is. But uh, it's... So far, we've done pretty good. You Did know, you just like expand the circle further and further out. Yeah, we've gone. We've covered the whole east eastern side except for northeast. That's pretty hard. It's just really busy over there. There are. Um, there's not a lot of like just empty airports. Like even the small airports in the northeast get a lot of use. Right? Yeah, yeah, tons. Yeah, I mean that whole. You know, the the good places to have a race at are just slammed. Yeah, you know, it's just too busy. So. Maybe one day. <laughs> Don't they have that, that sh- runway in, like, Danbury? Danbury. It's in Connecticut. I mean, not that I'd to be that guy to suggest places, mm-hmm. but, like, there's yeah, a runway I've there. I've checked out. Glickenhaus just built mm-hmm. his, put, a, put a factory for his, like, sports cars there. Yeah, I think uh, I've heard of the Danbury one. There's a huge one in Calverton. They stored a bunch of cars for Hurricane Sandy on. Oh, yeah. Like, two 10,000-foot runways, which would be perfect. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Massive. But the town's been in gridlock with that thing for, like, 10 years. And Are they there can't. still cars just sitting there? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I know, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of bad. Let's, they can't. See if, let's see if Cal- Calverton Executive Air Park, is yeah, that it? Yeah, that's the one. Let's, uh, let's see. Supposedly some experimental... Is their aviation f- manufacturer is trying to purchase it, but they're is the there, town won't approve the sale. Well, so. no, there's a there. It doesn't appear. It doesn't appear that the runway is covered in cars. No, not anymore. I think that was what 2012 or something like that. So yeah, fortunately they've sorted that. I guess good news. Yeah, but but they can't decide what to do with it. So it's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you guys uh, are you guys bringing anything to Radwood or just coming? No, we're not bringing anything. We, we live so far away, it'd be hard to bring anything. But uh, I did see where Turo's doing dope rental stuff. So. Does Turo have a Radwood special? Yeah, yeah. They've, they're bringing a couple of cars. Oh, really? Uh huh. They're bringing out uh, Kit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, kit. Yeah, that yeah. thing is, uh, let's see, if I, rent, if I go to rent from today to, uh, what is, I'm going to fucking get to this <laughs> for this weekend. What does Turo have <laughs> for today, for this weekend? This will be interesting. How do, is there? Where's the? Where's there like? I think there's. There's so, oh, sort more filters. But there's no way to do like Fun. vintage. Yeah, they said they no, had another deluxe um, class, super deluxe class. Yeah, we found a bu- We found a brand new E63 wagon on there, which yeah, I know. Is it awesome. white? Yeah. Okay, my friend uh, rented it and drove it to breakfast with me this morning. Oh, so really? Amazing. Swear to God, was it awesome? My friend, yeah. my friend Andrew, I had breakfast with this morning. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brand new. It's brand new. It had dealer yeah. tags on it. Super cheap. Yeah, yeah. Deluxe class and super deluxe class. I don't know. Yeah, oh, bro, well, there's a Karma. Yeah, I like I like fucking looking on Turo. <laughs> a Model S 2016 for 80 bucks a day. Yeah. Dude, Teslas are. I swear I rented this guy. <laughs> this looks familiar. I did a review. I think on this P100D model. or on the Model X. Uh, I think it was a nine a P90D. Yeah, they're so fast. 
The one hundreds are real crazy, but they're super expensive. There's a hundred D right there. There's gr- uh, two twenty five a day. There's, There's tons of I eights. Dude, I eights are all over the place here because they're actually, <laughs> as far as quote supercars they're for cheap traffic. Now. Yeah, they're, yeah, like they're not. They look cool. They're comfortable. Yeah, I had one for a year and a half. You owned one. Uh-huh. How was it? Amazing. You like it? I was kind of sad when I I did. I leased it, and I got like a crazy deal. They don't so. have anything fun. <laughs> Maybe all the fun shit's booked up. How do I find Kit? <laughs> yeah, you can't. I wish you could. I think you can search by brand somewhere. Unlock. Maybe I have to go to Turo Go to unlock select cars. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to do this shit in real time, son. They Turo had that fucking horrible LeBaron. LeBaron's amazing. It was a no. It was a LeBaron convertible <laughs> with like full wood paneling and oh like spats on the side. And the fucking guy who owned it was renting it for like four hundred a day. It was retarded. My uncle had a LeBaron in the in the nineties. 90s? Like the rounded one or the square one? I think it was the rounded one. It was dark green. My uncle, actually, same, same. Uh, it's the same uncle. It was actually the same person. Had the LeBaron. <laughs> it wasn't coupe. that. It was the new one. Dude, new my one uncle had a LeBaron that. coupe, which was the the. I've I've literally. I mean, if I've seen two of these on the road in the last fifteen years, you see the convertibles around, but fucking nobody's got the coupe. Yeah, the coupe is the rare one. But did they make the coupe in the turbo? Is the real question. I don't know. I yeah. never paid much attention. My uncle did not have the coupe. Oh wait, look, uh, LeBaron eighty-seven to ninety-five LeBaron coupe. I don't know if they made a turbo, but it definitely was it, an ugly, terrible car. It kind of reminds me of a Cadillac Elante. Yeah, something. exactly. Well, the Elante was designed by Pininfarina. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. That? A I did know weird that. Car, Elante and the nineteen eighty-two uh, Chevrolet uh, Camaro, the first oh. gen, the first version, the first early version. Pininfarina Camaro was Pininfarina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Was uh, dude, and if you can, if you actually look at the really the early early one. The like fully naked one. All these pictures. How come I Google eighty two and it all comes up with fucking IROX? Here, this one. The, so it's the you, first third if you gen. Look, if you look at the very early third gens, that's that not a bad looking car. Before yeah. they have all the body kits and shit yeah, on it, that looks way better. You can actually see like some sort of late seventies Italian kind of styling there. That kind of reminds me of how the Countach started as a super simple Periscopio, right. yeah. and then it went all the way to the anniversary, which is like crazy. You know who designed the anniversary, don't you? Uh, Pagani, right? Yeah, Pagani mm-hmm. redid it for eighty for eighty nine and fucking yeah. destroyed it. Isn't is that it. the Wolf of Wall Street car? Yeah, the Wolf of Wall Wolf of Wall Street Lambo is like, like the ugliest possible one. Yeah. It's a white on white anniversary with full U.S. spec bumpers. Perfect for the oh, movie, though. Fucking terrible. They, you know, they crashed a real one. Yeah, I heard the one they wrecked in the movie is a real one. I guess they had enough money to do it. Yeah, what do they care? It's like a hundred million dollars. Like fucking destroy it. What's the difference? <laughs> it's just a car to them. Yeah, they don't. They yeah, don't give a shit. Probably one of the best scenes in the whole movie. Oh my god, it's an incredible yeah. scene. If for anyone who's not seen Wolf of Wall Street, you are missing out on Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio's Quaaludes acting. It's kind of crazy that that guy. It's so many bad things, and now he's famous again. Right, and he's rich again. You can, but that's how America works. And he's in Australia. If you, if you're, if you do a bunch of bad shit, but then they have Leonardo DiCaprio play you in a movie. <laughs> yeah, you are re-legitimized. I mean, do you think when that guy was in prison, he's like, holy shit? He's, he's like, gonna, one day he's yeah. in prison, fucking jerking it, by him, about me. <laughs> jerking it by himself, going, Leo. One day, Leo yeah. is going to play. He was, me. he was probably running the tennis courts hard in prison. You know those uh, <laughs> those those those, uh, those lemon seven thirteens, just lemon seven one four quaaludes that he's fucking Ooh. takes, like the super special quaaludes. Yeah, yeah, aged. Quaaludes. Yeah, my my homie got one in. Uh, Got some of those in college, and I fucking got to have a few of them. Well, Woo, uh, boy, <laughs> those were the, the those cerebral the shit, palsy dude. phase, dude. Those were well. I didn't eat like seven of them like he does in the movie. <laughs> I had one, and when you took one lemon seven one four Quaalude, it was honestly like drinking a twelve pack of beer, but without any of the stomach or gastrointestinal right. related effects of wow. drinking that much alcohol. Like it's, imagine being drunk. But feeling like fit and not and like, like Ugh, you know what I mean? Clean, yeah, yeah, like a clean drunk. That's like interesting. Those things were so good that when the country wanted to get rid of them, they succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh no, these fucking things are too good. We got to wow. get rid of these motherfuckers, <laughs> and they're Jeez. and they're gone. They yeah. you you don't see them anymore. Yeah. This was like two thousand and one. They're in I cellars think. of super rich people's houses, bro. bro. They're in fucking. I hope someone. I hope somebody somewhere has like a vacuum sealed pack of these things. It's like Jesus. in case of emergency, 
fucking break glass. Oh yeah, the yacht scene where they're about to go down. He's like, "Give me the quaaludes." I think it's the ludes yeah. lemon. I think it's lemon seven one four. Yes, yeah, it is. They're the there Neiman they Marcus. are. <laughs> Neiman Marcus. Those, those are the ludes, bro. Oh, the lemon seven one four. Freaking. Who the fuck knows? Here's a, amazing. Is this a site to buy these from India? Hold on. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I've got a buddy who buys stuff from India we, like that. Seriously? Oh yeah. Not, buys not, drugs not, from India? Not quaaludes, like prescription drugs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Would you ask him India Mart? Would you ask him to buy some quaaludes? Uh, sure. If he's not? already buying drugs, <laughs> I mean, honestly, what's the difference? <laughs> Look up, take care of your boy. I mean, it would it, it would be a first if we bought drugs from India oh live on the podcast? God. Honestly, that would be incredible. I mean, look, you guys are from Florida. Why shouldn't we be buying <laughs> drugs on the podcast? What's the most Florida thing you guys have seen recently? Most Florida thing? That's a hard question. Oh shit. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, does that shit that shit happens in Dustin? We don't really have Dustin. Dustin's Destin. like Lower Alabama, so well, that's uh, almost worse. Yeah, I Alabama's mean, Alabama's even crazier than Florida. I don't know. It's just so funny because people come down there and eat it like Joe's Crab Shack, which is probably the oh, worst yeah. seafood in the world. Joe's Crab Shack is terrible. Don't um, go to Joe's Crab Shack. I mean, we have like Joe's 10, Crab Shack is the fucking Chick Fil A of seafood. I was a waiter there. Were you really? And I had to do the. Did macarena. you have to sing and dance? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was funny because at first I was like I'm not doing that. They're like we'll give you a couple weeks to warm up to it. <laughs> Wait, if you say I'm not doing that, do they go okay? No, they're like, we'll give you a week. Oh, and, and to do it, otherwise you're fucking yeah. shit can't? Yeah, you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, thank God there's runways available so. somewhere. You could still <laughs> yeah. be at fucking Joe's Crab Shack. That place is always packed, though, and I don't I, get it. Because people are fucking stupid, well, people dude. love chains. Like, people love chains, and people are dumb. There, I live in, a, I live in obviously, Los Angeles, a city yeah. with more good restaurants than probably any city on the fucking planet. And if you drive by the Cheesecake Factory yeah, with there. the rainstorm going on outside, it'll be slammed. <laughs> totally slammed. <laughs> You should. While you guys are in town, let me just make a suggestion to do not eat at a chain restaurant of any kind. Oh, we will not. Wait, do you guys have a Mr. Chow's here? Um, I think this is the original Mr. Chow. Yeah, Mr. Chow in Beverly Hills, but I, I've never been there. You've never but been? Mr. No, never. <laughs> should we take Matt to you Mr. Should Mr. Chow's? Not, you oh, should Lord. not eat uh, Chinese food in L.A. Oh, There's no good yeah. Chinese food. You eat Japanese food, you eat Thai food, you eat Vietnamese food here. You do not eat Chinese food. We go went, to New York if you want Chinese food. We went to Miami a couple of years ago and ate at Chow's. Um, <laughs> my friend recommended it. And there's like probably 15 wait staff that take care of you. And like then, per person? Like for the whole table. Okay, that's a lot. And then by the time you're done eating, it's like $600 and it's like gin gin. It's well, like, that's, I mean, that's <laughs> I've never been to Mr. Chow and like they the, the fucking TMZ gets dumb celebrities coming out of there in Beverly Hills all the time. Yeah. And my dad came to town to visit me. He's like, oh, you want to go to Mr. Chow? And I was like, nah. And I called a friend from L.A. And I said, should we go to Mr. Chow? And he's like, don't ever go yeah, there. Never. They charge yeah. you 500 bucks for oh, yeah. shitty Chinese food. And they like bring it out like it's all special. And then it's like <laughs> yeah. sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, no, the you best know? the best stuff about L.A. is our our cheap cheap not 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 like cheap like two dollars but like right. our cheaper food we have great affordable food here like street the, food the ramen the mm. the fucking tacos the yeah. vietnamese banh mi sandwiches like mm. all that shit is cheap like and amazing mi. if you like banh mi you go to east la like alhambra like okay. giant like 18 inch long banh mi's oh, for like going. three dollars <laughs> they're a fucking gangster out there yeah yeah that little sounds Viet good and our korean barbecue is next level but don't fuck oh, with Chinese food. My wife's uh, mom cooks some dope Korean barbecue. I strongly recommend Korean barbecue. Yeah. Is it like the little ribs? It's all or, that shit, dude. Yeah. It's, it's fucking everything you can imagine. I'm the pretty. best Korean barbecue in LA is called Soot Bull Jeep. Soot Bull Jeep. Oh, this is, here's the food portion of the show. <laughs> Soot Bull. It's, yeah. it's literally spelled like you would... Like it's spelled. That's a literally, super awesome name. Soot, S-O-O-T, B-U-L-L, Jeep. Soot Bull Jeep. Mm. And it's the last... Charcoal yeah, this fired trip. Korean barbecue place oh, in LA. It's like mini hibachi. That's Dude, incredible. you gotta go oh, and you going. fucking come out. You have to wear special clothes when you go there. Special clothes. Yeah, because everything you will, it's like it's you, it's like you've stood in front of a charcoal grill for so hours. So don't give a shit clothes. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Don't okay. special okay. means the t bad clothes. You don't wear nice clothes in there. Look <laughs> yeah. at the chairs. They're like the chairs you go to like in a yeah. little cafeteria. That's what in makes second it great. Grade. Yeah. yeah, they're per It's perfect. Is there any dope Thai food around here? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I fucking love. Yeah, thai there's food. all all this shit. Should we talk about cars? Yeah, we can talk about cars. Yeah. What have you been driving? Anything good? You guys been driving? Man, good? I've just blown through <laughs> so many cars. Um, like what? Well, I had, I had the i8 for about a year and a half, and then um, and Boston hooked me up with some pretty sweet wheels, and then uh, 
I got a GT3 and 991. Yeah, those are nice. Okay, the and best car. A, those are very good. I had a 996 that I got for like 12 grand. Um, 12 grand is good. As a That's track car, it had 53,000 miles on it. And I only got it because my dad had one when I was like 12 years old or 11. It's the only person on earth that's sentimental for a 996. Yeah. He had two of them, 4S and that, and then he had a 996. What's wrong with the 996? It has the best headlights. They're, <laughs> yeah. They're ugly. They're slow. They're just as expensive yeah. to fix as all the other Porsches. They are. That's fair. Um, I put about thirty grand into that, and it was the biggest mistake of you my life. You put thirty Gs into a nine nine six. You're yep. an idiot. I restored it like a moron. And really? Like put JRZs on it. That was dumb. Everything. That and, was very uh, dumb. All of that my, was very. My dumb. good friend Lee Key told me I, uh, you know, I was an idiot, and he was right. He yeah. And uh, Lee is full of good advice. He is when it comes to that. Yeah, for sure. He so. did a very good job with my car. I'm very excited yeah. for it. Yeah, I got to drive his red car. It was pretty awesome. His red car rules. Do you drive it on the tarmac or on uh, the dirt? I drove it on the tarmac, but he did take me drifting around his warehouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I drove. I got to drive it in the dirt, and yeah. it was fucking spectacular. So, uh, I wrote him a check as soon as I could afford it after yeah. that. I was at his house, and he was like, oh, Fair's getting ready to build his car. Yeah. I see. I see Lee about once a month. Did you see the car? He just he just sent me. I don't know if he has uh, pictures the of the turbo nine thirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw it before. It was black before. Um, let me see if it's. Did he put pictures on his Instagram of it yet? <sighs> no, I think he just private messaged. Oh, it. he DM'd me. So his his latest <laughs> fucking <There's> sa- <laughs> his latest Safari build is a yeah. is a turbo. That's his dope MR. And it's a um, it's cra- It's re- it looks real crazy. Um, he said but, it's incredible. But it's a four speed. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is so weird because to me I think that's super weird because you'll like literally just never get out of first so. gear but he looks at it the other way he looks at it totally as a positive yeah. like you'll never get out of first gear yeah. he's like you just put it in first and fucking mob on the dirt roads cuz like in on my like on uh, on his car that I drove on dirt uh-huh. you're actually between first and second most yeah. of the time and like in some ways you were like right in, in that in between uh-huh. so if you lengthen out first by another 15 yeah. mile an hour it actually would it actually is a good idea did it uh did you try and put it in first at like five miles an hour and it was like nope on that gearbox um, the 915 i'm not a big 915 gearbox yeah, fan like gearbox. my car is a g50 and i i started with a 87 specifically for that reason yeah so i drove uh the g50 first and then mm. I drove Lee's car, and I was like, "What is?" He's like, "Oh it's yeah, you got to you got to put it in first at zero. I was yeah, like, "That's yeah. so weird." Yeah. Um, so it was Me, a lot different. I'm not a big 915 gearbox fan. Yeah, I didn't like it yeah. very much. Um, um, okay, so you you wasted your money on this 996. Sold it. Yeah. I actually got almost 30 grand for that thing, which is pretty good. So you bought so it for 12, lost, put lo- 30 into it, lost and sold 12. It. Yeah. <laughs> lost yeah, 14, yeah. lost 12, and then I just sold. I just I was tired of having. Too many cars. It just got annoying, and then uh, so I sold everything, and now I've just got my M3 with the ESS 650 on it, manual. Oh, an E92 with a supercharger. Yeah, but the big, the biggest one. Those the, things are fucking rowdy. It's a. Do you have it's stand- an axe murderer. Do you have standard size rear tires? 295 Sport Cup two. So is that the uh, biggest you'll fit under a stock body? Yeah, it scrubs a little bit. <laughs> yeah, KWs. Dude, Acropovic. those supercharged M3s. I've driven like three of them. All the ones on stock bodies just blow the tires off through three gears. And oh. I drove one that was like that crazy. I don't know, the Vorstein. Yeah, or the wide body. Wide one? body. The camo one. Yeah, or, that one was yeah. that one. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of the styling, but it certainly put the power down. Yeah, I just. Uh, I'm in love with that car, so it's a cool car. I'll never sell it. I, it's the first car I bought when Want to Go Fast finally like made a dollar. You know what is that thing? Have you run in on a runway? One fifty three. Is that all? But I think it'll do one fifty five because I did that elevation like three thousand uh, feet, so yeah. probably one fifty five. I mean, it's, it's Vipers faster than a Huracan, or I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty, faster than a stock Huracan. Yeah, faster than stock Huracan. Or That's something. pretty good for an M three. Door to door with maybe a Ventador. What are uh, what are seven twenties running? 170. Yeah. That's They're freaking fucking crazy. Fast. So we had a 918, which I've driven, and that's... They're probably, lovely. That's the best car I think I've ever driven. A um, little, too, little too digital for my taste, but I feel you. Just as far as a modern-day car, I mean, but it's a million dollars, it better be. So, yeah. um, but Those run like 174 every time, right? On the nose, yeah. Every single time. And then, uh, But that ran the 720, and the 720 off the line got beat. But um, after that, it just kind of held, and it wasn't that big of a difference. Yeah. The and way the, that 720 shifts is ridiculous mm-hmm. going down the runway. It's stupid. I mean, for a real drive car, that thing puts it down hard. It does. But um, what, the 918, after like 175, it disconnects, it disconnects the electric motor, and it's a significant slowdown. After, after what, 175? Yeah, it's a significant slowdown Why, after Why, do you that. think it runs out of revs? They just 
decouple it from the transmission for some reason. I wonder why um, that is. Maybe the electric motor gear tops out. That's what I was going to say. The yeah. motor, electric motor runs so, out of rev. It's a single because it's a single speed. So. so it goes from like 800 to 600 horsepower at that That's point. That's fucking terrible. So, but how often are you doing 175? Come on. I mean, not that often, but yeah. That so, would be frustrating, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, for 300 grand, you can almost be just as fast. And with the tune, I think it might be faster, the 720 now. So. I think it probably could. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, someone fucking made like 900 horsepower with a tune on one of those things. It was ridiculous. They're making like almost 800 out of the box. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's the deal of the century right now, I think. 300 grand. Yeah, it I mean. will be the deal of the century next but, year for sure. But you know the <laughs> the half-mile car that's coming up right now is a 991 Turbo. Oh, absolutely. Um, what, are they, what are they putting uh, down? One just cracked two at one. Really? Um, Tom Wh- Speed built you, it. You know. Oh, Speed? Duh, yeah. Duh, uh, uh, Sissio. Sissio yeah, yeah, yeah. and, uh, yeah. Did I say, I meant Nathan yeah. Sissio. Yeah, Doug yeah, used yeah. to work there. Um, yeah. Is it the white car? Uh, no. That car makes like seven something, I think. It's like maroon. It's a maroon car. Uh-huh. It's the the same guy that has a 918. He has that car. And it's a 201.9. What do you have to do to a 991 to get a, to get that uh, out of it? I think it took a lot of stuff. They had to do a lot of custom parts on it because it was a first of everything kind of deal. So I think it was about a year. Oh, this car, right? That yeah. one right there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, TSM takes another world record with their built yeah, and supported 991 Turbo running 201.97. Yeah, it makes like 1350. I Does think. it really? Yeah. Wow, I wonder if that's fucking drivable. I'll so. also say when that car was stock, he first brought it out there, that car made like 40 passes in oh, yeah. one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with a, a, a stock car. It yeah, was, yeah. He eventually, it was doing like... We did, uh, we did 65 consecutive launches in one of these ones, and we stopped because we were bored, <laughs> not because the car he, uh, couldn't take it. He put nitrous on that thing before he went crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, I did 174 oh, with just Let's like see. bigger turbos and stuff. So. Let's see what this thing says. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't really just have a build sheet for this thing, does it? No, I know well, it's transmission and big turbos and custom intake manifold with port injection and. Because like you know. I did, I drove a, a nine nine seven turbo, uh, the Evo MS built mm-hmm. that runs like fucking two thirty. Like it's a cra- it's crazy. But yeah. like when boost comes on, it literally moves like forty feet to the right. Was it still all wheel drive? Jesus. Yes, it had to have been. If it, it was moving you like that. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Um, you, but I'd be interested to see what this chassis can do. I think it can do a lot. I think it's a GTR contender. Um, wow. I wonder if... Uh, and it's, it's just a nice change of pace because we have... I mean, GTRs are just... They're abundant, you know? Mm-hmm. And they're so cheap now that you can buy one for 50 and put 60 you in and buy and an do 09 and write fucking a check to uh, yeah. whoever. <laughs> Top and, speed or AMS or yeah. ATS and, or T1. Pick your shop. Do those guys... They, tend, they just run over and over, right? They don't run issues. No, no, no. GTRs are rock solid at 200. Um, top Speed's got... They're, they pump out two 200-mile-an-hour cars a week over there. Yeah. yeah. Um, they, they're like a little Lego shop for GTRs. Just pop them out. So... I'm trying to read... It doesn't... Mm, there's a lot of words here, but no fucking build sheets. <laughs> no, but no build... I, I, want, yeah. I, would, I want to see a build sheet. Sissio, send me a fucking build sheet. He'll send you one. He's what? probably watching. He might be. <laughs> um... What else is going real fast these days? Vipers? We got a Jeep SRT8. They'll do 190. That's fucking cool. They're shooting for twin, 200 twin in the next turbos event. on it or something? Yeah, so we're... Uh, well, I guess I'll plug <laughs> our event. We got an event coming up in Naples, January 19th and 20th. And registration opens for that next... Well, this coming Friday. Not mm-hmm. tomorrow, but the next Friday. And um, he's going to try and crack the 200 there. Is it so. turbo? It's twin turboed? Just one big turbo. <laughs> Very nice. big turbo. You can look it up, uh, Van Drake Racing. You go on Instagram or Van Drake. Yeah, V A N Drake uh, Racing. Let's see, Van uh, Drake Racing Team. I can't do videos, unfortunately. Yeah. YouTube so on. Oh, it's a first gen too. Yeah, that's before he has bead locks on all four tires, and that's uh, not surprising. He's got a full like aluminum underbody and. I mean, it's. He's got it's a. She's clean. got a chick. Oh yeah, he's always got models. Yeah. He's got a. He's got a real. So how he rolls. Built by Demon Performance. That's Southcounter. that's old. Yeah, that's old. He Build did specifications. He did one ninety. Let's yeah. see, four hundred and twenty cubic inch Hemi. Yeah, there you go. There's Bill Chief. Fucking <laughs> yeah, fuck, bunch of a bunch of Ford shit, big head studs, eighty eight millimeter precision turbo by Stage Six Motorsports. Yeah, all right. 
I think it might be a hundred something yeah, millimeters. Yeah, I really? think he just got a new one. He just posted about it. Update your fucking build sheet. So, he, uh, so he, you never know when someone like me is going to fucking publicize your when shit. When the car did 180, he drag raced a 918, and I think he got it from <laughs> the were, dig and everything. They were like dead even at the line. That's one of those things where he's like, ha, ha, I beat your 918. Yeah, yeah. And then they drive to the club, and the yeah. guy goes, ha, 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 yeah. put your fucking Jeep in the back. Still dude. a 918. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, still, still yep. a Porsche. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, but that's that's so, a pretty cool car. We had um, a Saturn hang with the 918 as well. Uh, a Saturn uh, up no, to no. up to about 150. That was a GX. Uh, no, it was G8. Uh, that was a G8 that did. No, wow. it was the silver. Oh, the Ion Redline did yeah. like 159, 160. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's uh, who's that guy who's got the fucking Integra? Oh, from? Miles from yeah. ETS yeah. 208. Yeah, yeah. Did he break 208? 200 in that he did Integra? Like 208, Colorado. Fuck me. That thing's insane. It's That's stupid. crazy. We do. Uh, I do. I, I do some stuff with the Time Attack guys too. And yeah. The fastest guy around is this dude James Houghton, who's got an Integra. It's yeah. been like seven hundred horsepower, and he yeah. he fucking smokes That's, everybody. My first car was RSX Type S, and it was blue. Those are really nice cars. Actually. And I want to get one, and I want to do some nuts stuff with it. I, I mean. Think. Once just, you drive actual fun. fast cars, it's not but really worth your time. I'm but looking for a, like a for daily. For like six grand, that's a nice car. Yeah, I'm looking for a daily right now, and it's it's kind of hard. Um, I drove an STI, and I want to drive the Type R. Which it's nice. I, you haven't driven one yet? Not yet. They're nice. Uh, it's a good street My car. local dealer wouldn't let me test drive. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking dickbag. Wait no, six months. They had a 10K markup on those things. Yeah, really? they ridiculous. You, me, man. You, you should never, ever never. pay a dime over sticker for so, a hatchback. Uh, ever. I'm kind of leaning towards an F80 M3 four-door, but uh, even though I don't think it's the best car in the world, it's just kind of like... They're nice. A stick one, though. Stick, cloth mm. seats, ceramic brakes, yeah. no sunroof. This that's one's, your, that's your this one's gray the with the sport tech. The it's the best great. thing ever. They're great. I got one as a press car. It was lovely. Well, we got two dogs, so I was like, I can put the dogs in there, and they won't scratch anything, and it'll be a nice car. Yeah, so. It's a nice car. You got the, 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 the best M3 is the most base model. Yeah, the base one. model. Yeah, because you can get an M3. It's like 105 grand yeah. right now. And it was like Fuck 45 that. grand. It still had a warranty. Oh, it was used? It's a yeah, no-brainer. Yeah. Totally. You know? So mm-hmm. it's, it's a great car. I'm about that shit. Yeah. Um, what else has been putting up big numbers in the runway right now? We got a VR4 that does 184. That is my favorite uh, car. A Gallant VR4? No. 3000, 3000 GT. GT. It's like VR4. the only one in the world. It makes probably. 1200 horsepower. Yeah. It it's is amazing. stupid. It's it is my favorite car that's ever come to an event. Dumb transverse engine in it? Yeah. yeah. It does? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Jesus. You might be able to find a picture of it on. If you type in want to go fast, 3000 GT. That's or, fine. I'll find it. I know I've shot yeah, that car. Yeah. There it is. This thing, yeah, twelve hundred horsepower, three thousand uh, GT no, VR4. There it is. There. Yeah, it's freaking. How about cool. that? Those things are cool. Um, Good for that guy. I mean, that's punching uphill. Yeah, he's that, one of the few. He's that, one of the few. Some people really just need to be different. different. Yeah, they, they, they. There's just uh, he gets a lot of attention. <laughs> I'm sure. He you can't play the video because it's on YouTube. But no, but that's it right there. That's real crazy. Single turbo. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, a 3.3 3 liter yeah. V6 with forged pistons and rods, Haltech ECU. Mm, 1050, yep. Yeah. What is it? 1050 wheel uh-huh. and 805, <laughs> eight, 865 pounds yeah. of torque. Wow. We that's, had a, uh, That's real fucking crazy. We had a 69 Camaro a couple of years ago, all motor, that did like 211. All motor? Yeah, Yikes. all motor. Yeah, like off the trailer. <laughs> Guy puts his toe on the accelerator and he's gone. The previous world record was like 180, and he just went out there and did 211. And, just, and he was like, "What was the world record?" But he knew. I mean, he was he was just being a dick. But now we have a Corvette C5 Z06 mm-hmm. that does 199. Point Full seven. sequential revs to like 9500. Oh, all motor. Yeah, if you type in Vengeance Racing C5, cool. uh, or a Vengeance like oh Vengeance yeah, Racing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know them. They built crazy Corvettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember Vengeance Racing. Those guys, um, it's all white. Those guys have built some crazy it's right shit. there. It's just, yeah, that freaking induction. It's got nose. the big, it's got the super scoop, right? Like the That's fucking drag, straight, the super drag scoop. Straight NASCAR. Yeah, one straight piece NASCAR. front end. I mean, it's it's a one piece front end. It is. That's yeah, bad. they can just take it all apart. And yeah, ninety two hundred RPM. Yeah, now it's ninety five hundred. <laughs> they put a new motor in like every event. Put another hundred horse in it, trying to hit two hundred. You know. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's, getting closer. That's Dallas. Yeah. Yep. 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 
So that is crazy. I bet that sounds so nice. It's one of the best sounding cars I've ever. Heard. Yeah, yeah. It's actually more. It's an quiet LS now. that revs. You know, I mean, do they put like a flat plane crank in it or something? I don't know. What do you have to? do? It's got to the trumpets, like the individual throttle bodies, like this. Oh, really? This velocity stacks no, I'd on. I'd love it. to see a fucking engine shot of this. Yeah. Thing. Oh, it's, I don't know. Uh, I mean, when I think Ricky Bobby, that's what I picture <laughs> in my mind. So yeah, it used to be red. Let me yep. see if there's an engine shot. Oh, here's. Oh, that's not. No, that's it. just an engine. I can't find a. I can't find the trumpets. <laughs> oh, but that's it. This is it. Yep. Those carburetors. Oh, the, it might be carbureted. That's the old setup too. Yep. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's freaking it. Isn't it? He's the Eddie that's Blackwell. A, that is a. <laughs> that's a fucking racing that car's engine. Been running since 2012, and it went from 171 to 199. These people are fucking nuts. They love it, man. I, I, I understand. Yeah. Runway racing is... I mean, it's its more interesting to me than quarter-mile racing. I don't find quarter-mile mm. racing interesting at and all you don't anymore. break as Unless much. it's like top fuel. Yeah, you don't break as much. And uh, we also get to see, like... We had, like, four demons at our last event. I mean, there's not many places What are demons go. running? Uh, we have one run 179. No, 183 now. Yeah, I think oh, once really? they cracked the ECU, it was up there pretty good. I think the gearing holds them back. Really? Uh, I think you have to change out the gear set, maybe, because they're geared for the quarter, so... Are they? Do they have unique gearing? I think they only do like 168. Uh, I think oh, that really? was ECU limited, though. Oh, oh. okay, okay, yeah. Because like Hellcats will go like 200 miles an hour, and I didn't know yeah. they were. Much, I didn't know they were any different. But uh, I like. I, I don't like many muscle cars, but I like that that car. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm a fan of them. They're, yeah. I they actually like. I like the Demon. Because have you driven one? I haven't. No, yeah. I went. I went in one as a passenger. The um, they ride better than Hellcats. They're softer. Yeah. Hellcats are really bouncy, uh-huh. and they softened the Demon for the quarter mile, and uh, it's just worked out. Yeah. That it's, track hockey head was pretty sweet to road Atlanta. I mean, it was real <laughs> dumb, but... It's kind of what makes it cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's cool, but I just... I don't really get it. Um, <coughs> it, it was fun for, like, certain things. Right. But I just... I don't... They shouldn't have called it the track hawk. They should have just called it like a Hellcat Jeep. Then I then I my expectations. I'm on the different. same pathway as the Hellcat Jeep. But, yeah, like um, track hawk means it should be good at the track. And fine. like I set the brakes on fire in like three quarters of a lap. <laughs> like the brakes are not. And they're huge too. They they're, still, yeah, it's like the 15 and a half inch brakes, and you yeah. can still set them on fire. My wife has a E70 X5M. Mm-hmm. And um, I love that thing. Is for, that a new one or an old one? I don't know what that's that means. That's the one you had for uh, over oh, one lap. For one lap. Oh, those are cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I but, think it looks better than the current body style too. I agree. T- I agree. It does. Although I haven't driven the new one, I hear the new one's I mean, extraordinarily. There's fast. just nothing better than just beating a Focus RS with bolt-ons or like <laughs> any kind of car. I mean, like a five O Mustang, it's pretty much right there. It launches know? hard too. It launches real hard. Yeah, yeah. I they, ran a eight two in the eighth. I mean, that's pretty. I fair. don't know what that means. It's like I a low twelve. Who drives it? I I ran a, I ran a twelve one in it in yeah. uh, in the quarter mile once yeah. and for on the one. Line. ESS hooked me up with a tune for it, so it's even faster than a stock one. Yeah, I think t- I, I used Turner's tune. And it was like six hundred six hundred at the <laughs> wheels. It was ridiculous. They don't sound good at all, but um, you know, or whatever. But it's fast as crap. As far as like fast SUVs, like the Macan Turbo is the one to have. Yeah, I haven't. It's fucking uh, great. It's like a luxury that? rally car. Yeah, I like a little bit bigger one, but um, but yeah, the Macan is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. So extremely cool. Hey fools, if you uh, if you guys are checking the live show, get in your su- <laughs> get in a super chat, and if you want to ask us shit about cars, we're gonna do that in about ten minutes. You know, we've had so many. I've had so many live shows that yeah, I feel you like burn out all the questions. <laughs> it happens. It, it honestly, it can, it can happen because like the problem is when I travel, which is a lot. Right. You know what I mean? I still have to record the same number of shows, uh-huh. so I have to do five shows in three days. Yeah, you were telling me like, dude, I got like five podcasts today. You know, so. uh, this is my second one today. And yeah, I had yeah. two yesterday, and I have one the day before that. Yeah, it's I'm ridiculous. Sh- I have sure. one tomorrow as well. I'm sure you're you're pretty busy. I would have to imagine. I'm so. I. But when you when that's all you do, right? You got to do some things in between in between them to talk about. Yep. So I've only done so many things that I can talk <laughs> about. Today it's like I can tell you how my Mercedes drives in the rain. Yay! Oh, did you drive that SL today? Yeah, it's fucking good. It's good you for know, sitting in traffic. I almost bought. There was a '98. A one owner, eighteen thousand miles, like that's that low. dark green. That's low. Yeah. He wanted seventy five hundred bucks for it. Should have bought it. Steal. Should have bought it. I Could've was gonna. 
You well, floated it for double. I know, and I was going to buy it, but I drove it, and it drove great. This is like a boat. It's like yeah, really that's what you want. And it's exactly the uh, purpose of that car. It was. It's a traffic car, and it was pretty fast. Like it had some good balls on it's it. It's a five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. If you put your foot down, it fucking goes. Actually, I every time I have an opportunity to go flat, I'm surprised at how fast it, it actually felt is. Modern day fast. Yeah, but um, the steering is not. Mo- the steering's old school. Yeah. The ride is old school. Yeah. All that shit is old school. But potholes, it was a king. You Dude, know, I potholes. I love this thing for traffic. I like yours is the sport, right? The yeah, five it doesn't really make much difference beside the wheels. But I like the little fender vents on yours and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the slightly rounded off ones, and it, it's it's got just enough different detail work that I like. I like it. Yeah. I like it a so lot. So my more. dad in '85 had a 560 red on tan. Oh yeah, and that was like before that he had a C4 with the red interior. A white one and uh, a said, white C4 Corvette. Oh, yeah. red I was like, did you put prints in while you had that car? Your dad's not Florida. Your I don't dad know was Rocky Aoki, I think. And he had a, he had a gold chain. I mean, he was. Did he's he pretty, really? He's pretty dope. Did he yeah. actually have a gold chain for real? With a sailboat on it, <laughs> or no, or a dolphin? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is fucking amazing. I ask him questions all the time about the '80s. I'm obsessed with '80s and '90s. So, well, you know, why don't you buy him a white C4 Corvette with a red <laughs> interior for fucking yeah. four thousand I mean, dollars? Well, like, he just got something way cooler than a C4. Oh, yeah, he just got a Model 3 Performance, which is pretty cool. Those are cool. Yeah. You, want, you want to hear a good story about quality control at Tesla? This yeah, is a great story. So he waited two years because he didn't want the normal color. He had to get burgundy or whatever, so mm-hmm. that was another six-month wait, I guess. He picks this thing up in Atlanta. They rush him through, and he gets the car all the way home. He's like, hey, come check it out. And I check it out, and it's got three 20-inch wheels and one nineteen. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> three 20 inch wheels and one 19 inch wheel. I'm sorry. Say that. Yeah. You saying it has three dubs and one 19 on it? Yep. And one is a Continental tire and the others are Pilot Sport 4S's. Didn't even and have And it made a, it from the factory to the store to yep. him. It even had a mark on it. It even had a yellow X on the dud tire. <laughs> and it still made it all the way through to delivery. No fucking and way. Like, Where does the wheel style the same? Yeah. The smaller? It is. That is hilarious, so, dude. That's was, so fucking funny. Yeah, I mean, because I've seen... How long did it take them to get the right, correct wheel for him? Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks. After all that is after they sent him a false text saying your car's ready oh, to Oh, yeah, up he got a wasn't. text about a month before, and it was like, come get your Tesla. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. And uh, they're like, oh, whoops, wait, that was a mistake. So he's had a pretty bad experience. Dude, that is so funny. Does he like it now? He loves it. I drove one for a week, and I found it to be quite enjoyable. It's like P90D fast. Yeah, they are quick. They're quick. Yeah, yeah it's real fast. And it's it's like the right size, and the visibility is really good, and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's super cool, but the 19-inch, I was like, what other That's car company hysterical. could get away with delivering a car with three wheels one size and one the other well you know i don't i don't want to give anyone else too much credit because back in the day when me and my friend larry had a detailing shop um we would detail cars for a dealer a chevy dealer Uh and there was a number of times when um like a chevy silverado would come in that straight up had a gmc sierra tailgate on it <laughs> you know what i mean like this that kind of shit would Stuff happen happened, all yeah. the time yeah. yeah and um uh we did another one for a uh, um a uh, uh, what was it a Dodge dealer where it, they would have like plymouth shit on it <laughs> like it was it was that stuff that kind of stuff like it it did happen but like in that particular case, like two different, similar but differently badged cars. Built. In the case of the Model 3, it's only one car yeah. <laughs> built on that line. Like, you're not confusing that shit. But that's really it funny. Was, it was crazy. And I've seen... No one said it. So did he notice it immediately? He never noticed it until I said something. Seriously? I, he was what, just driving on it and they didn't yeah, notice? He had no idea. That's he got a home and I was like, hey, that's not right. Hey, and your car has one different yeah. size wheel. And it, it makes me think how many housewives are driving around and not realizing they've got three wheels, one size, and one the other, because they look the same. Dude, that is super fucking It's, it's like funny. an investigation we should open up to Tesla see how many. Tesla QC. <laughs> there you go. All yeah, right. A yeah. couple of questions. Uh, not too many today, because uh, we've had a lot of shows, and I guess we're questioned out. Um, Jack says, have I ever thought about barefoot-style <laughs> shoes for the Countach, not five fingers, but something like the Merrill Vapor Glove. No. There, people, I, I'd say I have to drive it barefoot. There's nothing wrong with driving barefoot. Driving barefoot is oh, fine. Great. You don't need shoes. Like I wear, it's California, flip-flops. 
Take them off. Drive barefoot. Barefoot style shoes? No. I don't like that. That's no. claustrophobic for my no. feet. Unless yeah. you are, you can only wear them if you're Joe Rogan. Because if you're Joe Rogan and someone makes fun of you, you just beat the shit out of yeah. them. Yeah. I'm not Joe Rogan. That's actually how I found about Radwood was Joe Rogan. What? It, really? Yeah. What is a Merrill? Because you were on there as a guest and you're like, hey, check out Radwood. What's the Merrill Vapor Glove? Oh, no. <laughs> these are too big, dude. No, the problem is, like, yeah, no. You, those are not barefoot style shoes. I can't wear those. They're, I literally, when I say I can't wear shoes, I can't wear any shoe. I have to be able to bend my right. feet around the pedals. Yeah, yeah, can't do it. Sorry, Jack. Um, Christopher says, a friend of mine is a huge Eagle Premier fan, and I was hoping you could give all, uh, all of yeah. everyone unfamiliar a few sentences about the Eagle Premier. Wow. What the hell well, is Here's that? an Eagle Premier. It is a shitbox. Um. <laughs> It is a terrible... Sh- yeah, it, it looks Eagle, like a shitty Cressida. It, pretty much. Um, For those yeah. unfamiliar with an Eagle premiere, <laughs> this is it. Ooh, white on white. Eagle Here's a white on white. Talking. And uh, honestly, I don't have anything to say about that. I, I can't <laughs> think a, of anything to say. It's a terrible car, box on box. <laughs> and here's, here's what the interior looks like. Wow. Look at this. A shifter. Look sweet. at that shifter. It's fucking yeah. sweet. It looks better than 9 It looks like shifter. the shifter out of like a square Jeep. Pretty Charity. much all eagles except the uh, Talon. The Talon. Well, the Talon. <laughs> yeah, but all eagles were shitty. Pretty much. What was the fucking four x four one? The four x four eagle. The the. Um, it was like the Montero, right? No, 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 no. 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 The, it was. It was that the AMC Eagle. That's different. Oh right? yeah. Oh, that is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the yeah, AMC yeah. Eagle, right? Yeah. No, when Eagle like was a Chrysler fucking product, and it was just terrible, and you shouldn't have one. That's that's all I had to say about it. <laughs> I don't have any. I got nothing else. I'm sorry. I wish I had more. Nothing um, striking. Yeah. And Max, uh, Max says I'm looking skinny. I'll take that. Yeah, I am. I've been working hard. Yeah, you're sixty good. minutes of cardio a day, bro. I That's spend I spend uh, twelve to fifteen hours a week at the gym, which is That's, a lot of gym. That's crazy. I have to, otherwise I end up elliptical. Really fat. Sixty minutes, seven days a week of elliptical, and then an hour of weights on top of that, four days a week. It's yes. a lot of fucking work. That's dedication, out. man. That's dedication. I quit smoking weed, so I have more time now. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you guys want to plug before we get out of here? Um, Your event in, in Naples? Just the Naples event, yeah, January 19th and 20th. Fantastic um, runway. Is it, a runway. Good, is it a good runway? It's a good runway. It's a really nice runway. Is this in here? It looks nice and smooth in this yeah, picture. Yeah, uh, that's Jambalaya, so that that's actually where John Travolta lives. Oh, one, really? In, in Ocala, yeah. His, his, oh, yeah. His house is the finish line. Which is really? Uh-huh. Oh, so you go across the finish line, and then he can finger your bum. Uh, uh, I hope not. But <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. It's just a massage, guys. It's he's just he's a got massage. a few different jets to pick from. Doesn't he have like a 707 or something over he there? Does. He does. That's driveway. not there anymore. I think it was decommissioned. Oh, really? Is it too yeah. old and shanty? It was shanty? the Qantas, Qantas Airlines. I look, so. I, John Travolta's crib, if you look at Google, oh, Google Earth, is hilarious. Yeah. He has planes like we have cars. He's yeah, like, like a he has like a driver. straight driveway <laughs> with planes, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at this fucking it's house. crazy, yeah. That's a... So is it is the seven oh seven still there? It just can't yeah, fly. It was there up until the last event we did, just yeah. which was uh, last month. Dude, who, look at who has a driveway of planes. He wanted to put a go kart track in, but the HOA did not approve. They allow fucking jets, and they yeah. won't allow a go kart. Oh no, track? ridiculous! No, no go kart tracks. Yep, no these are some tracks. douchey ass HOAs. <laughs> There's only nine people that live there now. Nine. Really? Yeah, literally nine. That's pretty fucking awesome. And they yeah. can just fly in and out whenever they want, right? Yeah, whenever they want. Yeah. That's pretty fucking boss. Yeah. That's a great runway, though. I'm feeling that. Yeah, that runway was... So that place was originally built by Arthur Jones, who invented Nautilus workout equipment. Oh, really? And he's actually got, like, a Nautilus museum there, which is, like, all the <laughs> 80s and 70s workout stuff. Really? It's That's pristine, so too. so funny. It hasn't been and launched in 30 years. He, like got so rich that he became like a philanthropist of exotic animals and then he would like <laughs> fly in gorillas and stuff. He had a 747 that he owned personally and he built that runway just so he could land a 747. Is that what there. it's called? Nauticus? Uh, not a list. Oh, what, oh, sorry. I thought it was... I spelled it yeah. wrong. So he uh, built that and they would just haul like gorillas and alligators and stuff. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> 
Florida, dude. Florida's the weirdest place and, ever. And then he had a little like warehouse where they had <laughs> oh, yeah. snakes, and they would like take their spinal fluid out and like to try and do like different cures for certain stuff. They were trying to cure Seriously? like Alzheimer's or something. Yeah, something weird. Alzheimer's or something like that. Warehouses don't just don't go to snakes. Florida. This is my advice. <laughs> just don't just don't go to Florida. Some crazy stuff. They're man. gonna remove your fucking spinal fluid. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, stuff. If you're interested in Want to Go Fast events, check out their website. It's uh, wantogofast.com, and of course they they Instagram. Underscore yeah. want to go fast. Underscore, yeah. yeah, because someone has the Ricky Bobby original. <laughs> someone had to do it first. That's right. But I own the name, so that's all that matters. You got the copyright. Yeah, you got I got the, the trademark. trademark. Yeah, nah, fuck yep. that Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Blake and Joe from Want to Go Fast. Thank you guys. All right, thank uh, you. We'll be at Radwood on Sunday for those of you listening live. Radwood yeah. is uh, at right the Peterson Museum, December second. Don't even think about bringing a car because uh, the cars are all full. I mean, yeah. don't bring it. Th- you can't display a car. The display cars are full. How many people are going to be at this thing? A thousand. Is this a big one? It's huge. Yeah. I've never been to Radwood, so I'm really oh, excited. Oh, yeah. The one in Atlanta was a really small one compared yeah, to... I the figured. one in L.A. last year was big. This one is big. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's over 100 display cars, um, and there are, I think, a thousand, a thousand spectator tickets. I'm pumped about it. It's going to be cool. I'm going to find out... Eric at GTO Engineering has said they're going to tell me tomorrow morning if my car is working or not. I don't. It, he said he was confident, but like, I don't know. It's something like in the ignition box, and uh-huh. it's, he was talking about voltage and resistance and shit. It's fuel injector, right? It is fuel injected, okay. yeah. I don't know shit about, about electric things. Can you put uh, like, an MSD in it. <laughs> you know what? Well, it's not, it's not running the original Magneti Morelli yeah, unit, yeah, it I runs this thing called a Permatune box mm. which uh, helps with 91 octane in california right and is also just like more reliable oh, yeah. than the menu really box but in, it's also not working or it wasn't working oh, yeah. but he also found when he when he went to look so the problem was i was like driving it like at like 80 miles an hour uh-huh. on pch and it just turned off wow. like that it wow. was like fine 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 yeah. off and so i was like okay yeah. so that was the suspected issue uh-huh but when he was digging around for shit he also found um corroded connections on the fuel pump hmm. so he said like that could have been it too because when i shut it off and pulled it like i had power like full right. power just it wouldn't crank and start huh. so yeah. i don't know i think my next car is going to be a diablo you should buy one now they, have they a are s- a pretty dope one at cats right now what yeah <laughs> what what year is it 94 is it a vt yeah Cats Exotics, if those of you who don't know about I, it. Let's I see. almost bought a 99 last year. Well, I just saw it too. I just saw an 01. Uh, it's silver with they red a, interior. Oh, they got a few Diablos. That one right oh, there. The silver that's, that's, one. that's the dope one. That's a dope. VT. Someone's going to buy it right now. Look at 180, that. <laughs> this is what happens. Every time I talk about uh-huh. a car on the show, someone fucking buys it from yeah. under me. 13,000 miles. Yeah, it's VT, sick. 189 grand. That is underpriced. I mean, I, I don't want to say underpriced, yeah. but like... That's a lot of car yeah. for that much money. If it was a Countach with similar mileage, yeah. it would be quite a bit more expensive. So that one's got power steering, which is probably important. It uh, also has all-wheel drive. It most importantly has the second-gen gauge cluster. Yeah, the first gen is horrible. You do not want a 91 gauge Can cluster. Can you even see over that nope. thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, here's my jam right here. The 6.0 yeah. is oh my, my God, jam. Yes. You know those are Z32 headlights shit. on that. Oh, no. Did I not have... Uh, did I not? I'm, I feel like people are gonna fucking kill me if that if that last one wasn't clicked over. Let me just make sure the folks can see it. This yeah. is the one we're looking at: Ooh, silver ninety four one VT. And then wait, uh, the where, where's my my sec first second gen gauge cluster? So yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see this here how it's low. The, there was a double stack gauge cluster in the ninety one. Yeah, it's like Hor- bam bam. Yeah. It was horrible, but. The course, 6-0 it's is got my, the Alpine, man. My <laughs> my uh, my Countach has the original Alpine. Does it work? Yeah, yeah it's, it's dude. Cool. That my Countach has the first Alpine C, uh, first yeah. CD player uh-huh. ever put into a production car, and in 1987 uh-huh. it was nine thousand wow. dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah. I will say the 99 it's worth sixteen bucks now. <laughs> ninety nine I drove had pretty good stereo. It was the factory Alpine. It the stereo, good. I mean, it sucks in my car, yeah. but oh, it's got a snow corn interior. Yeah, that's, that's what they call sick. this white. It's like the one Rob Dom bought like two, three years ago. Wasn't his kind of fucked? This is yeah. the third, the oh. third gen gauge cluster yeah. for the redesign. Is the six oh, nice. which is my favorite. Um, yeah. I really liked the Diablos by the time they got to the six O's, but they are so much more expensive. 
That car six, has to oh, double a, in price. I mean, here's a five thousand S. Wow, he wants four twenty five for it. Yeah. Fuck yeah, buddy! <laughs> have you seen a low body Countach? I have. Yeah, that's crazy. That's your a exact 5000 car. Five thousand S. No, mine's a QV. Okay, mine. This is this looks like mine. Yeah, same color, uh, same body work, uh, same gold wheels. Mine as a QV has uh, sixty extra horsepower. Wow. Oh. Uh, sorry, 80 extra horsepower. The, the, the 5000S was a 360 horsepower yeah. car. Mine is a 450 horsepower engine. Although this is exactly what my interior looks like. Yeah. Although I got an Alpine. You got... <laughs> oh, this has the later. Ooh. This has an Alpine as well. This was put in later. Does, does yours smell like a cigarette boat on the inside? Fuck no. Mine smells clean as a baby's <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Although this one is carbureted. Uh, yeah. This is a carbureted got, car. Mine is fuel injected. Are those a little bit... More power than carbureted cars? No, they're or more no? powerful than early fuel-injected okay. cars, but yeah. um, the QV is the most powerful engine. But this is this one's beautiful. It looks just like mine. Yeah, I like that a That's lot. That's nice. And I like the price. I like the price because I don't have to pay. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you guys. Do we have, thank you guys very much for, uh, for joining us tonight yeah. in the live show. Do we have anything before we get the fuck out of here? Nope. nope. And uh, go to wannagofast.com if you want to sign up for some runway racing. Yeah, These guys do a good job. Thank you, sir. You're professionals. You You are (laughs) professionals. See you at Radwood on Sunday. The Smoke and Tire Podcast is powered by Shout Engine. Get your own damn podcast at shoutengine.com. It's easy. You just need a microphone, a connection to the internet, and preferably something to say. Good night.